Right, here's something that really deceives my drakes. There's this game called Uncharted, which is like a sequel to The Last of Us, I don't know, I'll Google it. Anyway, it's a game about being Lara Croft, except if Lara Croft was a bloke and voiced by Nolan North, which, given this industry's lazy casting choices, I wouldn't be surprised if Nolan North ended up voicing Lara Croft one day. Point is, it's this action-adventure game about a treasure hunter called Nathan Drag, who is always looking for secrets and artefacts and looking to get rich with his on-again, off-again love interest, Victor the Sully Sully Man. Except, in this game, Nathan Drake is literally killing hundreds upon hundreds of people over treasure. Like, I get it, in a game like the Call of Duty Black Operations, where you're a soldier in a war who has to kill the terrorists who are from different countries because that's war, and you're fighting for America, which is probably noble or some shit, but treasure? Gold statues and fucking coins and shit! And Nathan Drake, beloved video game protagonist, is not only okay with the wholesale slaughter of men who are just paid to do their jobs, but he's cracking wise the whole time, making little quips when he scores a headshot and laughing whenever he finds new guns. Not once does it ever seem to weigh on his mind that he's got the blood of by now thousands of human beings on his hands, leaving a trail of fly-blown corpses on every single one of his little escapades. Nah, he's just making jokes, having a giggle with Victor the Sully Sully Man like nothing happened. Dude, soldiers get traumatised by having to fight a fraction of the people Nathan Draka's killed in cold, sarcastic blood. That's fucked up. But Jim, you say, Indiana Jones was a treasure hunter and he killed people. Yeah, first of all, nowhere near the amount of genocide caused by Drake. Second of all, a lot of them were Nazis and we all know that's okay. And third of all, Indiana Jones was a fucking prick and all. But Jim, you say, all those other men are trying to kill Nathan. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up because that proves my point. See, if I was in a line of work where I'm not a fucking soldier or something and yet armies of men are trying to murder me, you know what I'd do? Get another cocking job. One that doesn't involve me getting exploded or smashed in train wrecks or stuck bleeding in the snow. Fucking treasure hunter, that's not even a real job. Get a real job, Nathan, you fucking dick. You total fucking foreskin dick. But Jim, you say, it's just a video game and you shouldn't care about it, it's just entertainment. And yeah, you're probably right, but fuck off anyway, yeah? I realise it's old-fashioned to say Nathan Drake is a goddamn sociopath, but he's a goddamn sociopath. And unlike Grand Theft Auto, that's not meant to be the point of his character. We're supposed to root for this man who gets caught in double crosses while trying to double cross people, who laughs with glee as he, a supposed everyman, shoots a man in the fucking head and who really wanted to murder those security guards in Uncharted 2 at the beginning even if he said he didn't because he pops a giant boner whenever he sees brain matter exit out the back of a human skull. I bet he does probably anyway. And as far as Uncharted 4 goes, look at this shit! Look at the property damage they're causing to the rural community! Those aren't your fences, Nate! That's not your land you're fucking over, that isn't even your fuck damn country! And you're just smashing everything up, probably because you found a map that claims fucking Julius Caesar had a secret key sewn into the lining of his arsehole or something. Anyway, that mildly annoys me sometimes.